Hi and welcome to today's track guide at Monza. To start off the lap you want to run out quite wide and pick up speed for the main straight. In this guide I'm going to be talking about how I drive this car on the track, so if you're driving other cars you're going to have to probably adjust the way you drive it. Uh, for the first braking point on the first corner you want to use the 150 meter board on the left on the fencing. In this car you can brake right on the 150 meter board or slightly before it. Slow the car down and bring it to first gear. For the chicane you want to go right over the curbing but narrowly avoid the sausage curbing or you'll go flying. Ease the throttle a tiny bit halfway through it, once again right on the curbing, smooth on the throttle on the exit and you can run onto the curbing but it'll be a bit bumpy so I avoid it here. Now pick up speed again and head to the next corner. Now for the next braking point there'll be another 150 meter board on the fencing so in this case you want to brake just after 150 meter board. Gently release the braking, use all the curbing you can, avoid the sausage curbs. Ease the throttle on at the exit, run wide but don't go onto the sand. And now we head over to the first Lesmo. This one I don't have really a braking point for but you ease the brake on gently and just bring it right to the inside. Halfway through the corner, ease the throttle back on and run it out wide. You can use all the curbing on the exit if you like, I don't quite use it here. But now we move over to the second Lesmo. Uh, the braking point here will be the 50 meter board, brake just before that. Trail brake a little bit, don't use too much of that inner curbing because it's quite bumpy. But ease the throttle on the exit, don't run too wide, if you go in the grass you'll probably spin out or ruin your lap. Now we can pick up speed again and head to the scurry chicane. Okay, for the braking point here, we want to use that overhead structure and brake just after it. With this car, we can use a lot of the curbing on the left here, so use as much as you can. Hopefully, you won't upset the car too much. Bring out the car to the left a wee bit and then bring it straight back to the left. Don't hit the anti-cut bumps on the right, it will upset the car. But you want to get your foot down as soon as possible so you can get a nice run to the straight. Use a little bit of this curbing on the left, run out wide on the right, and now we head to the last corner. Now for the final braking point here, you want to brake halfway between the 100 meter board and the 50 meter board. And then gradually release the brake and then bring it right to the inside. Slow the car down, stabilize it, and ease the throttle back on, bring it back out wide. You can use this AstroTurf on the left, but it can be slippery, so it's up to you how you want to drive it. Get as much speed as you can and then head to the finish line. That's a lap at Monza, I hope you enjoyed this guide. It's a pretty short and simple track and it's not too hard to learn, but there's a few bumps you need to avoid and it takes a bit of practice to get a perfect lap. Thanks for watching, like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more ACC content. We're going to be making plenty of ACC content on the full release, so subscribe so you don't miss that. This was the last early access release of the game, so next one is the full release. So look forward to the rest of the tracks and the cars. I'll be making more track guides on the rest of the tracks when the full release is out. So look forward to that and see you next time.